Welcome to the Amazon S3 bucket demonstration, where we're going to create a new bucket and take a look at some of the features available. So we'll start by going to the storage and content delivery section and clicking on S3, which will take us to the S3 dashboard. And we can see I only have one bucket in my account, which is called databaseable. So we're going to click on create bucket and create a new one. So just to show you, if I try and create a bucket with just two characters in its name, it's going to give me an error and says it needs to be at least three characters long. On the other end of the scale, if I try and make it ridiculously long and click on create, it's going to say it must be shorter than 63 characters. So that's just a quick reminder. And also, you can't create a bucket with underscores in. So if I just try and call it simply learn underscore bucket it's gonna generate an error it's telling me that I can't create it with an underscore and also if I just create a bucket called simply learn it's gonna say that this bucket name is not available someone's already using that in the Amazon Web Services namespace so I have to give it a unique name so I'm gonna call this simply learn dot demo test and I'm going to place it in the US standard region. So let me click on create. So yeah, there's our new bucket. And here are the properties to do with that bucket. So we can set the permissions. At the moment, me, as in the databaseable owner, has permission to do anything with this bucket. And we'll take a look at that in a minute. Then there's the option here for static website hosting, which we mentioned. And I'm going to show you something with that shortly. Then there's the logging. So you can enable logging for your bucket. So if you turn it on, you could select a bucket in which to put your log files. We are not going to do that now. Events. So we could set up an event and it could be for a put operation and we could prefix it with say which folder it was going to be in or the suffix. So we could say any put operation for a JPEG file set up an SNS topic or an SQS queue or even a Lambda function. Then we're going to look at the rest of the things here at a later demonstration in this lesson. So let's take a look at putting some data into our bucket. So let's click on simply learn demo test. It's telling me it's empty. So let's upload some files. Um, it brings up the upload API. So we're going to click on add files. And I've got four files here on my desktop. I've got the health check HTML file that you're familiar with from previous lessons. There's the simply learn key pair, which we use to access Windows EC2 instances. There's our simply learn private key, which we use to access Linux and Unix instances. And then there's a the simply learn logo. So let's upload all of those. Let's click on open. So now what we can do is click on set details. And we can choose where we want to put them. So we could say in standard storage or standard infrequent or re reduced redundancy. So I'm going to stick with standard. And we could also say whether we want to encrypt them. So we could use the Amazon S3 master key or we could use the key management service. Now we don't need to encrypt these, so let's disable that. But that's where you have that option. And then we click on set permissions. And so it's granting me full control, so I can do anything I want with these files. And I can also make everything public, but I'm not going to do that yet. We can set the metadata, where you can specify common HTTP headers and content type and things like that. Or you can just tick this box and let it figure out content types automatically, which we're going to do. Then we click on Start Upload. And on the right hand side here, we can see our files being uploaded and there you are that was pretty quick so let's take a look at one of them let's take a look at the simply learn logo so I click on that and then move to the top right and click on properties so here we are so now it tells you some information it tells you that this file lives in the simply learn demo test bucket there's the file name has its size its date who uploaded it etc and then here there's a link which is interesting as we talked about this is the URL to access this file directly so what happens if we click on this? It's telling me there's an error. OK, now why is that? It says access denied if you take a look here. And that's because 
it hasn't got public permissions so we need to change that so let's go back to our file and if we click on the permissions option here we can see it's just me that has access so let's add more permissions and let's grant everyone open and view permissions and click on save now if we go back to the other window and let's refresh there you are so we now see that we can access that file directly using the URL and there's the URL there so s3.amazonaws.com forward slash simply learn dot demo test which is the name of our bucket and then the name of the file now if we go back to our bucket let's click on simply learn dot demo test and the properties now here is the static website hosting which we talked about earlier and the endpoint for it would be this simply learn dot demo test dot s3 dash website dash us east one which is the region we're using dot amazon aws dot com so let's enable website hosting now it's asking for an index document so this is the file the default file that will open when you go to the website so let's call it healthcheck.html which is the file we've been using in our other tests and we can set that as the error document as well just uh, just because it's the only file we have that's suitable for this okay and we click on save so now if I click on the endpoint it gives us an error we've got a 403 error and it's for the same reason as we had when we tried to access the simply learn logo it's because we haven't set permissions on the health check file so let's go back and do that so we click on the health check file we click on permissions we add permissions and let's grant everyone open and view permissions and click save okay so now if we go back to the other window and let's reload that there we are so now if we hit simply learn demo test s3 dash website dash us east one dot amazon dot aws dot com we get to see our health check file which is this is a healthy web server and that concludes the bucket demonstration